Welcome to RPA. In this video, we'll discuss about how to capture a screenshot for element and full page screenshot using robot framework. So when you are automating any website or web based applications or any of the application by using robot framework, it's always recommended to take screenshot of each and every screen so that whenever any defects will be found will be captured immediately. So we'll see here how to take a screen. So let's uh, go to the website. Here you'll find it out one image is available then the login page. So after entering credentials, it's always recommended to use that screenshot as well. So we can capture element by screenshot and full page screenshot whenever it is required. So this is called as element. This is again a new element. This is again a new element. So whatever new new elements we have, we can capture each and every element screenshot as well as the complete page screenshot. So let's uh, go to robot framework, right? Create a new test case. I'm giving here screenshot demo now click on ok and we are selecting this uh, test case here i am opening the browser open browser is a keyboard which we are using for opening in browser i am giving this url for my next action so it will open this url inside the chrome browser now if i want to maximize the piece then i will write maximize and press control space bar you will find it out the keyword now it will maximize my page and then we have two text boxes one is for entering email and other for the password so let's uh, select this so for this i am using input text and the id so either we can go ahead with the id or with the name so for capturing this i just want to inspect the element and the id of this email field is id email so let me copy this id colon and then name now i'm just giving any random email id then again next text will be input text and id here let me capture second id for the password So this is my second ID. I am giving here the password as a test. Now, if I want to capture element by screenshots like this image, this logo to be captured for the screen, then I will need to capture this and then generate the X path. So let me copy the X path of this image and enter the keyword capture element element screenshot and then here we have to provide the x path so x path is done you can also go ahead with the id but right now i'm using x path then second we have to find the location where we want to store this image so let me copy and paste this location so here is the location yes and the important thing whenever you are copying any folder location we need to always provide forward slash like this so change from backward to forward slash and then update the detail for this now at the end 
element dot png we can also save it to jpg format whatever image format we have right now i'm using element dot png yes and one more important thing if you will not provide this path then it will automatically store into your project location so that will also work then i want to capture complete page screenshot so capture page screenshot now here we have to directly provide the path for this it will not need any um locator so here i am giving as a page.png at the end i will close my browser so post that let's see how it looks and how is the result is generating now save this Enter the detail, capture the screenshot, and then it will close the browser. So let's see what's the issue. It's feel. I think we had made some mistake. Each oh yes, here we had made a mistake. That is typo error. So because of that, it's not generated. Now you can see element screenshot is generated. So let me delete this one as well so that we can generate one more time. Start. This time this will work. Open the browser, enter the text and it will capture the screenshot of our logo and then the complete screenshot and it will close the browser. So let's uh, go to the folder and see both the images. This is the element screenshot which I captured. Let me open see how it is captured. Now you can see so whatever reason we have selected or the X path we have selected that image is only generated and next one is for the complete page screenshot. So this is how we can capture the screenshot whenever it is required for our project need so that's all about capturing a screenshot by with using robot framework hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider sharing within your circle thank you for watching